Now, in high definition, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News Online. We thank you for joining us here at wavy.com in the news. A Memorial Day weekend barbecue in Norfolk was cut short after charcoal from a grill caught two houses on fire. This happened just before 2 Sunday afternoon in the 800 block of Lexington Street. When firefighters arrived, they saw flames coming from outside of two homes. They quickly extinguished the flames and nobody was hurt. Investigators say the cause is an accident because of the improper disposal of hot coals. A day on the water in York County almost turned tragic after a boat caught on fire. Hampton Fire and police responded to the call around 2 Sunday afternoon along the mouth of the York River. We're told the engine of a 53-foot Hatteras boat burst into flames. Firefighters, with the help of two Good Samaritans, were able to get it under control and nobody was hurt. York County Police investigating a morning bank robbery. This is a surveillance picture of the suspect happening shortly before 10 Sunday morning at the Bank of America on Richmond Road. Police say the man stole money from someone using the night deposit feature at the bank. If you have any information that can help police, call the crime line. Newport News Police still trying to figure out how a man wound up dead in the James River. That body spotted at Huntington Park off West Mercury Boulevard Friday. Police later identified that person as six-year-old William Clyde Darden of Hampton. His body was taken to the medical examiner's office to determine what happened. A Navy chief petty officer stationed in Hampton Roads is accused of stabbing his wife to death, and police say he may have had nothing more than a pen. David Hugh Marks arrested in Norfolk after his wife's body was found Wednesday in the New Orleans home. He's charged with first-degree murder. And for the second time, the Navy says it will name an aircraft carrier for President John F. Kennedy. Secretary Ray Mabus made the announcement Sunday on what would have been Kennedy's 94th birthday. The nuclear-powered ship will be built in Newport News. The first USS John F. Kennedy was decommissioned in 2007. All right, today we'll be seeing uh, mostly sunny skies, at least during the morning. Temperatures in the upper 70s. It's going to be nice, but it's going to be very humid out. And, in, boy, later today the temperature's going to get up to near 90 degrees. Upper 80s near the shore, inland spots of mid-90s, and a southwest wind 5 to 10. By the way, late today our computer model has just one or two little pop-up showers and storms because of all the heat and humidity. Otherwise, it's going to be nice out. I'm even going out. I'm going to the beach myself. So we'll see a UV index of 9, mostly sunny. Just keep in mind that uh, I think more inland could see one of those pop-up showers and storms. Otherwise, tomorrow. High temperatures, low to mid-90s, maybe in some upper 90s inland. Same goes for Wednesday, but then some storms, more storms possible on Friday. Jeremy, thanks very much. We thank you for joining us here at wavy.com. Our next newscast starts at noon. Have a great morning. We'll see you then. Now, in high definition, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News Online.